looking at Matt Whistler and what he's done out of the bullpen this year been very very good. He's going to be the opener and we'll see how how far he can go. It's going to be a bullpen game today for the Twins. Well, Perez is at first two down and now Jorge Soler. Checked his swing but he went. And Whistler has a scoreless hitless first inning. Head on Bubich looking pretty good though. He's learning ERA is not going to be up there very long. You know he's got really good command especially fastball changeup combination and he will work in a breaking ball. Polanco's at first nobody out for Mitch Garver. Off speed and Mondesi picks it off. Well that wasn't your tailor made double play ground ball but the Royals turn it anyway. This first inning continues now for Eddie Rosario. And now fastballs hit up the middle and Mondesi is there catching the line drive and Bubich has a scoreless first inning. Four bases empty for Nicky Lopez. And that is into left field for a base hit and the Royals first hit tonight. Salvi was hit by a pitch in the first inning. On the ground left side. And Adrianza throws across the diamond and that's all for the Royals in the third. So Bubich has set down the last six. The only hit he's given up was to Jorge Polanco. Toward the hole. mondesi has got a good arm, but the throw pulls McGroom off the bag, and Polanco has both twins hits. The twins have a runner at first base with two out, and Mitch Garver coming up. Who oh, didn't need it. Got him looking at a fastball. Second strikeout for Bubich. We head to the fourth inning of play. It's the Royals nothing and the Twins nothing. Soler struck out his first time up. And he still strikes out on an off speed pitch. One down. Count of one and two to Hunter Dozier. And he went around there and it's strike three. Back to back strikeouts for Devin. Now the batter is going to be Ryan McBroom. Two and two to McBroom. And another strikeout. Smelter has struck out the side. As the Royals go down one, two, three in the fourth inning. Cruz walked his first time up. There's a ball hit to left, deep to left, and that ball is gone. Off the facing of the second deck. Cruz hitting his seventh of the year. And the Twins take the first lead. You can see what they were trying to do. Perez behind the plate wanted high fastball. Watch where this one is. He wants it high. It's middle, just inside of middle. Nelson was dialed in on that speed. Three walks to this inning, and now it's going to keep the inning alive. And here's where Buxton, he won't be patient. He'll look for something early and jump on it. That's to left. There's his first hit of the series. Dropping one softly into left field. Gonzalez around third. He'll score. And the Twins take a two to nothing lead. So with Merrifield now, the runner at first, Gordon. And two down here in the top of the fifth inning. Deep to the left field corner. And off the wall, Rosario firing to second base. They got a play. He's out. Rosario with a perfect strike from the left field corner. And the inning ends with an outfield assist. And now it's going to be Eddie Rosario. <laughs> the middle on a base hit. Rosario's aboard. Arbor will hold up at second base. So Marwin Gonzalez, he lined out hard to third his first time. He's also walked and scored. <laughs> called third strike. Ooh. He'll take it. A Agree strike is called. That's a foot outside. <laughs> that was a ball. Runner at second base. Two out. Dozier right now. McBroom on deck. Roller to short. Polanco. Tucano. Flipper pitches a scoreless sixth inning. Driven hard to the gap in right center. Hard off the wall. And that might be the most encouraging thing Twins fans have seen from Sano to date. Now Kepler 0 for 1 with a walk. How about get him in? They got him over him. Deep in the corner, Sano will wheel around third, and it's Kepler with an RBI single and a 3 0 lead. Cruz started the scoring, hitting a rocket the facing of the second deck in left field, a leadoff home run in the fourth. A blast, left center field. Headed to the bullpen, he's done it again. I just, I, I don't 
know what to say. His fifth home run against Kansas City pitching in seven games. And it's a 4 0 Twins lead. Top of the ninth inning, Twins 4, Royals nothing. Let's see if Zach Littell can close things up here tonight. That's driven to center field and deep. Buxton is back, and that is gone. And Hunter Dozier is homered in back to back games. It is 4 1 in the ninth inning. So Bloop single to right center by Franco, and here comes Gordon. Waits 3 1. And the pitch lined to right. Vargas, the catch, throws back to first base. Double play, and the ball game is over. And the Twins win the game 4 to 1. And the Twins end up taking this series three games to one. 